Hi, I'm Adrian Luke, and welcome to Look Beyond the Classroom, where learning has a limit. Sa pagbukas ng ating klase, handa na pa tayong mga guro sa new normal na pagtuturo? This two-part video will help teachers gain deeper understanding of what Google Classroom is and how we can maximize and strategize its integration with the learners. Tayo na as we explore in this episode called Teacher vs. Google Classroom. Sabi ng karamihan, gamitin daw ang Google Classroom kasi ito daw ang recommended tool for distance learning. Pero ikaw, alam mo na ba gamitin ang mga major tools niyo sa pagbubukas ng klase, such as Google Classroom? You wouldn't want your Google Classroom to be your enemy no. instead of being your companion in delivering your subjects for the whole school year. First things first, ano ba ang Google Classroom? Google Classroom is a content management system created by Google and is also part of the core applications of G Suite. It lets you create announcements, assignments, monitor work, and grade students. It helps teachers to improve communication and monitor students' work, lalo na ngayon na kailangan ng distance learning approaches. Dahil part ng G Suite ang Google Classroom, pwede nyo ma-access ang application na ito through the waffle icon na usually may kita sa Gmail. You can also access it in your Google Drive or you can type classroom.google.com sa search box or itin tawag natin Omnibox. Ito ang Google Classroom. Walang pinipiling subject ang Google Classroom if we're teaching science, English, Filipino, math, aralit panlipunan, or kahit anong content na maisip mo. Because again, Google Classroom is a content management system. It's an app that will help you to manage your content, organize your materials, and where you can enroll your students. Kailangan natin maintindihan na pag gumamit na tayo ng Google Classroom, ay dapat mayroon tayong strong guidelines or set of rules na ipapa-implement sa mga students para ma-maximize natin ang gamit nito. Otherwise, kapag wala kayong sinet na rules, maaaring hindi i-check ito ng mga students oh, or no. kung kailan lang nila gusto. This would result in disappointment from teachers na baka isipin nila na nineneglect ng mga students ang efforts ng teachers when it comes to creating materials, modules, and assigning work. Your Google Classroom is divided into four categories. May kita nyo dito ang stream tab, classwork, people, and grades. In your Google Classroom, you can also choose the theme or the header photo. So parang sa Facebook, para lang siyang cover photo. So you can customize it according to your theme or according to your subject. In your Google Classroom, 
may kita nyo rin dito ang class 3. Ibig sabihin, pwede kayong magbigay ng code to your students so that they can join your Google Classroom. But you have to make sure that you belong in the same domain. Same domain to same domain or Gmail account to Gmail account. Sa stream tab, dito nyo makikita ang lahat ng mga announcements. So, pwede kayo dito mag-post ng kahit anong reminders or additional announcements. So, whatever you post, it will appear there. You also have an option if you will allow your students to also post in the stream tab. Makikita nyo rin dito ang updates kung meron kayong mga upcoming work or upcoming deadlines for your students. With Google Classroom, you can also turn on the Google Meet feature. You don't have to individually create Google Meet sessions with your classes. So, meron na itong built-in feature sa Google Classroom. You just have to turn it on. Habit forming then ang implementation ng Google Classroom for students. We have to make sure that we set specific days when the students should check their Google Classrooms for new announcements, for new assignments, and other uploaded materials. Kailangan din natin maintindihan na pag gumamit tayo ng Google Classroom, para na rin natin ito kinoconsider na having one notebook is equal to one subject. So, ibig sabihin, creating a Google Classroom means one Google Classroom per subject. Para hindi mo overwhelm and to stay organized, you can post assignment, modules, and other workload per week. For better monitoring and transparency, subject teachers can also add their supervisors and coordinators and also their principals in their respective subjects. Pwede kayo magdagdag ng ilan man ang gusto ninyong co-teachers in your Google Classroom. In Google Classroom, since part ito ng G Suite, we have to make sure that meron tayong at least basic knowledge on how to use the other G Suite tools tulad ng Google Docs, Google Slides, Google Sheets, Google Drive, and Google Drone. We cannot really neglect the other G Suite tools when we use Google Classroom. One of the strongest features of G Suite is its collaboration. It's not just a repository tool for all our materials, but this is also an avenue for our students to increase their collaboration, creativity, communication, and critical thinking, which are part of the 21st century skills. With that said information, subukan natin bumalik ulit kung na tayo sa Google Classroom.